Good morning everyone. Welcome to the morning podcast with me Sudeep Shah and today we would be discussing about key levels on Nifty and Bank Nifty. Along with that we would be discussing on stocks and sectors which could be in focus for the day. Now on Friday we saw both the benchmark indices Nifty and Bank Nifty uh, trading in a tight range and ending the day on a flatter note. But if we see from a weekly perspective the structures are good and Nifty as well as Bank Nifty uh, witnessed a continuation of their current bullish momentum and both ended uh, approximately 1% positive. Uh, now it's important for us to even decode what the dollar index as well as Brent crude oil prices and US 10 year bond yields are doing. Now if you see the dollar index, the dollar index in the week gone by has consolidated closer to 104 levels while the US 10 year bond yields are stable at elevated levels of 4.25%. Now Brent crude oil prices which uh, in the previous week were threatening to break out above $83 a barrel. They have met with a resistance at higher levels and once again they have cooled off towards $80, $81 a barrel. So that is uh, in a way slight positive from an Indian context. Uh, looking at the global markets, uh, S&P 500 has broken out above 5100 levels and is exhibiting strength and it's at an all time high. So looking at the current short to medium term charts, uh, we feel that this particular index S&P 500 could test 52.50, 52.70 on the upside and 49.70 zone could act as a strong support going forward from here on. Now a quick check on the volatility index. Now following the rebound from lower levels in Nifty in the previous week, India VIX 2 has witnessed a further cool off from higher levels uh, and has slipped below 15 levels now. So any move below 14.6 from here on would infuse further confidence into the market participants while 16.3, 16.5 levels where the indices have met resistance in the last uh, couple of weeks. We feel now that could be a formidable resistance and on, once th this is crossed then market participants should be adopting a cautious stance. Uh, coming to nifty levels uh, for the day uh, indices are likely to witness strong support zone around 22,070, 22,100 and until this zone is held the trend remains firmly positive and uh, we, we could see the uh, nifty uh, index uh, inching up higher up to 22,330, 22,400 in the coming few sessions. Uh, positionally uh, 21,900, 21,930 will now act as a strong base. So from a positional perspective we feel that the range could be between 21,900 and 22,500. But from a, a intraday perspective or a, a couple of days perspective, 22,050 should be taken as a, a strong support. Uh, if you uh, see the open interest uh, build up, meaningful call writing was uh, visible in 22,300 as well as 22,500 strikes while on the puts front, uh, positioning was uh, witnessed in 22,200 as well as 22,000 strikes. That means that the short term trading range for the indices in the coming expiry week could be between 22,000 on the downside and 22,430, 22,450 on the upside. Coming to bank nifty, immediate support for bank nifty lies at, at the 50 DMA zone of 46,500, 46,600 levels. Until this zone is held, the current momentum could strengthen up to 47,200, 47,300 levels. However, in case 46,500 is broken, then the previous support zones uh, placed around 46,200, 46,250 could be retested. Now, what's happening in Bank Nifty is that uh, last week, uh, 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 in the initial part of the week, we had witnessed HDFC Bank uh, showing a strong rebound from lower levels. But uh, towards the end of the week on Thursday and Friday, there was some resistance witnessed in HDFC Bank also. However, it is well as... Uh, uh, Partially Axis Bank which has supported the bank Nifty along with PSU Bank. So I feel HDFC Bank here would act as a key catalyst uh, for the entire bank Nifty momentum uh, to carry on from here on. So uh, 46,500 on bank Nifty crucial supports, 47,300 uh, important resistance. Uh, if you see the call writing uh, in bank Nifty, the call writers are... Uh, well placed at 47,000 and 47,200 strikes while 46,800 and 46,500 puts have a significant build up of open interest. That means this implies a trading range of 46,500 on the downside and 47,300 on the upside. Uh, coming to your favorite se uh, section of uh, stocks and sectors and momentum. Uh, amongst the sectors we have seen uh, Nifty Auto, Nifty Pharma, Infra and Real Estate uh, Space. 
uh, showing good momentum in the past week and they are structurally well placed with uh, all these indices trading above their short to medium term moving averages. Out of this, uh, Nifty Realty was the best performing uh, sectoral index and from this space we feel that uh, Phoenix Limited, uh, then Godrej Property, Shoba, DLF, India Bull Real Estate as well as Mahindra Life, they are well placed on the charts as well as wherever the derivative data is there. Uh, there is extremely good uh, build up on the long side visible. So look out for the real estate stocks uh, for the day and for the next few sessions. From the broader market, selective bullish setups were observed in Dr. Reddy, m and Sipla, Nestle, uh, uh, Reliance, Adani Ports, Indian Hotels, Dixon, India Bull Housing, K Fintech, Estral, Camps and Cummins Limited. So these are uh, top 10 12 uh, best stocks that we feel out of the entire markets that uh, in the last week they have sustained as well as they are showing good structural uh, uh, positioning on the charts from a medium to long term perspective also uh, coming to the FII DII uh, data in the cash markets both FIIs and DIIs were buyers to the tune of 1276 crores and 177 crores respectively uh, long short ratio of FIIs for index futures is around 44% uh, which is stable uh, considering the way it, has, uh, it was at the beginning of the series. Uh, on the stock futures front, FIIs have bought closer to 43,777 contracts while on the options front, they have sold uh, 57,365 call contracts and they have even bought 10,472 uh, put option contracts. So. Uh, Kind of, we feel that kind of FIIs are uh, in going into the expiry week, the, they are positioning themselves of, with a cautious stance to mild bullish stance. So uh, play with the support zones uh, till the time uh, 22,050 as well as 21,900 zone is guarded. Uh, dips should be used to go long. From a bank nifty perspective, uh, 46,500 zone would be the key level to watch out for and uh, any dip toward those levels uh, should be uh, viewed from a buy on dips uh, angle. So that's about it for, for the day. Uh, thank you all for listening to this podcast and uh, giving us so much love and uh, sharing it with all your friends and making this a huge success. So thank you once again everyone and uh, see you all tomorrow. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.